The Tampa Bay Buccaneers finished with a 5-11 record during the 2018 NFL season as their offense was called upon to light up the scoreboards in an attempt to simply keep up. Second-year tight end O.J. Howard was well on his way to a true breakout season, increasing his grade from just a 61.4 as a rookie all the way to an 89.4 overall grade before injury cut his year short after Week 11's loss to the New York Giants. Rookie interior defensive lineman Vita Vea came on strong down the stretch, acclimating to the professional level with game grades of 67 or higher in five of the last six games. He added a pass rushing skill set to his already stout run defense and found his way on our all-rookie team along the defensive line. While Fitzmagic was fun to watch, he and Jameis Winston mustered just four game grades at an above average level as the duo bounced back and forth as the team's starting quarterback without much sustained success afterwards. This inconsistency at quarterback only made the deficiencies along the offensive line in Tampa worse as newly acquired center Ryan Jensen finished as just the 30th highest graded center and Caleb Beninock ranked as the fourth lowest of 88 qualified guards. Linebacker Levante David allowed a whopping 647 yards in coverage, more than all but one other linebacker, as he allowed 87.3 of the targeted passes thrown his way to be caught. Tight end O.J. Howard finishes the Bucks' highest graded offensive player and the league's second highest graded tight end behind just San Francisco 49ers star George Kittle. Howard hauled in 34 of the 47 targets thrown his way and gained 6.4 yards after the catch per reception. Back at it once again, interior defensive lineman Gerald McCoy finished as Tampa's highest graded defensive player. He finished with top 30 marks in both run defense grade and total quarterback pressures with 38. In his second year with the Bucks, wide receiver Chris Godwin broke out to the tune of 59 receptions that included 7 touchdowns and 38 additional first down catches, and did all of this while dropping just one of the 60 catchable passes thrown his way. New head coach Bruce Arians does have pieces to build around as they move forward in Tampa. The real question to be answered in 2019 is if Jameis Winston is the long-term answer for the Buccaneers, 